What's up, D Buzz? What's up, D Buzz? What's up, everybody? What's up? What's up? Your girl's back for a real talk. It's Real Talk Wednesday. What's up, you guys? What the fuck is up? Okay? Like, straight up, what the fuck is up? Like, let me tell y'all. It's really actually Monday. And tomorrow, mid-afternoon, will make a whole damn week that I have been suffering in pain. Okay? Now, today has been an easy day for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Because ever since mid-afternoon on Tuesday, a bitch back felt like somebody had threw me off of somebody's roof, okay? Let me tell y'all, Tuesday when I came home from the gym, I was fine. Like, you know what I'm saying? My back had been hurting for like a minute, though. When I say a minute and then I say I'm fine, it was like this little twinge. It was no big deal. And this was going on for like maybe like a week and week and a half at most, okay? So... This was way before last Tuesday. So that little bit of pain, which to me, it's, I'm going to say on a threshold of one to 10, the pain was like a, at a one or two. Okay. Now, Tuesday mid afternoon, like about four or five o'clock, I have felt like I had been thrown off of a roof. I don't know what floor, what, what, what none of that, but I felt like I had been thrown off a roof serious like my back was killing me I was in tears like literally a bitch was in tears I had it felt like I had a his I, I felt like I had a uterus all over again like you know what I'm saying like I know you're like bitch what but the pain hurt so bad in the lower part of my back that it was moving to the front and it felt like I had a uterus again like y'all know I had a hysterectomy so I ain't got no damn uterus but it felt like I had those monthly endometriosis endometrius cramps like labor cramps I felt like I had been in labor the back pain was so so bad and I can't take I couldn't take anything because you know I take blood thinners for my veins so I had to take aspirin so I found some aspirin this shit was low dosage I took five of them shits it didn't do nothing it didn't do nothing nada girl listen I just went to sleep in, in tears, the, the little bit of sleep that I could get. For like three days, I suffered like this, okay? Until I realized, let me just see if I could get what else I could use. I'm going to just say this. They ain't sponsoring this video. They don't need to ever sponsor none of my videos. But I'm going to just say this. Thank you, Bayer, okay? Because Bayer back and body aspirin made me feel like 40% better. 40% may not be 100. May not even be 50%. But that shit is better than nothing, okay? And the um, Icy Hot Balm. Whoo, child. Damn. I see why people be using that shit. Like, like, I put that shit on my back today and yesterday. Girl. I feel like I'm at 90% of Aprilness right now, okay? So, I'm, like, feeling alright today. Um... I'm I'm hoping that this shit le let 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 just please go away. I, just please back pain go away. But I haven't been to the gym since last Tuesday, and now I feel like a bum, like a total true bum because I want to go to the gym. I wanna I wanna lose some weight. Okay, I wanna work out. I don't know what the fuck I did. I pray that I don't do that shit again. Okay, I pray that I don't do that shit again. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day, great week, great morning, great afternoon, whatever you're watching this video. I hope you guys are having, like, a really, really great one. I'm trying to figure out something right now. Like, do people do shit just to get on my fucking nerves? Like, or do, do people do shit to get under my skin? Like, I'm trying to figure out some shit right now because, like, why would you do that? Like... I mean, it's no big thing to me, but why would you do that? It's like, I feel like you're trying to do some shit to get under my motherfucking skin. And like, why would you do that? What the fuck? Y'all heard me right. I thought we were grown. Like, at least I know that I am. I'm 47 years old. So I would expect that maybe you would have grown too. But just the fact that you would want something to get back to me, that there's no other reason for me, a rhyme or reason for me to think anything else of it, but... The way I just hate when people do dumb shit to piss me off or not even do dumb shit to piss me off. But I just hate when people do dumb shit in general. Like, let's not do dumb shit for 2022, especially when you are grown. Let's not do dumb shit like here on this side of the world, on the West side. We don't do dumb shit. OK, 
even though, yes, I'm from the East Coast, I done moved. I moved. All right. On, on this side of the world, we don't do dumb shit. I just don't like when people do dumb shit. I don't like dumb shit. Straight facts. I don't like dumb shit. I'm a grown ass woman taking care of all my shit on my own. That doesn't mean I'm a boss because I pay all my bills because that's that means that I'm being a responsible grown up. That's what the fuck it means, because I think we all do responsible shit, or at least we should as an adult and a grown up. And I'm not about to sit on here and brag about me. Yeah, I do boss shit, meaning I buy myself clothes, I buy myself groceries, I buy myself cars when I want to, I buy myself whatever, I pay my bills. That's what everybody does, okay? Don't make me no better than nobody else. So what would I need praise for that? But praise me for minding my motherfucking business because I don't give a fuck about what you do on the other side of the world. If you ain't related to me by blood, motherfucker, I don't care what you do on that side of town. But I would just really appreciate it if you don't try to disrespect me. I'm just trying to figure out, do people do shit to get under your skin at times? Like, I don't like people that try to fuck with my good feng shui vibes. Like, over here... On this side of the town, this is me. I have been trying to be a better person, and I'm going to stay that way. You know, sometimes we got to leave the past way the fuck in the past. If I could get in a time machine and move that shit back so far that I wouldn't even remember that shit, then I would. Trust me, there are a lot of things that I would like to forget about for the rest of my motherfucking life. I'm over that shit. But I just don't like when people do dumb shit to try to get my attention, all right? If I seem like I don't give two fucks, then let's just leave it at that. So for 2022, bitches, I'm going to be the old April and the new motherfucking April. Both. Fuck it. Because if y'all going to do dumb shit, I'm going to do it with y'all. Okay? So, with that being said, let's do this real talk. If you got a real talk that you want me to talk about, you can go ahead and send me an email to muffinismylovers2012 at gmail.com or aprilsrealtalk at gmail.com. Please put in the subject line, real talk. And once you do that, you can go ahead and send me that email. If you want to change your names in the email of the people that you're talking about, you can go ahead and let me know. If you don't tell me you changed the name, then I'm going to just go ahead and change it for you. So on that note, let's get into this real talk, y'all. Okay. All right, guys. Hmm. Hey, hi, Miss April. Sorry in advance that this may be long, but there are some things that I need to vent and honestly don't know where to turn to. My husband to be soon, mother and sisters and others don't like me. I'm not really understanding how they could not like me as I have been nothing but strong for my soon to be husband. His mother is rude and disrespectful. She seems to blurt out anything before thinking. As well, spending our money is an easy task. She constantly comes over to the house and picks and pries into my business, asking me questions about my daughter's father. My daughter is 15, but I am being questioned about our past relationship, with which ended over 12 years ago. She is asking me things like, when is the last time he and I spoke? When is the last time we saw one another or the last time I spoke with anyone from his family? I am trying to justify a reason behind all these questions, but I constantly find myself answering them. It's not just her. It's his sister saying things about my lifestyle, which I can't understand because I live with her with their brother, whom I, whom I have been helping out financially because he lost his job due to COVID. They will say things like, well, maybe you shouldn't be buying new clothes when y'all are getting married next year. Maybe you should wait on a vacation because y'all got bills to pay. I'm like, hold up. Yeah, we got bills. Everyone has bills. And I, all by myself, have been handling them all of my own due to the fact that my, my fiance does not work currently, but has been looking. His mother had also been saying things about my weight, telling me I should lose a few pounds before I get married to her son so I can look extra pretty on our wedding day. Don't I want to lose weight to walk down the aisle? I should lose weight because then I will look prettier. Oh, I'm pretty for a big girl. I'm like, excuse me, big girl. I'm pretty to be a big girl. What is that supposed to mean? If it ain't the weight thing for the wedding, it's the weight thing from his sister to lose some so I can get pregnant. Like, hold up. What makes you think I want to push another baby out? My daughter is 15. I'm good. 
Mainly, there are a lot of remarks about my size. And I'm really trying to be a better person. I would say bigger person, April, LOL. But you know what I mean. Like my fiance has no problem with my size. Miss April, I weigh 250 pounds and I am 5'7". I'm not seeing the issue. Most of them women in his family are a lot smaller than me. Like I mean small as in size 2 or 4. Like I don't ever want to be that small and I'm not saying anything is wrong with that size. But girl, I've been thick all my life and embrace my size. So why can't they? What do I need to say or do to make them realize that I'm good, I'm fine the way I am, and my man don't have an issue with it, especially when he was the one pursuing me at this same size? We have been together for five years, and Miss April, the only thing that has changed about my appearance is my hairstyles. My weight has stayed the same, and I can't see what their problem is. Please help, because I don't want to be disrespectful, but I am not going to continue putting up with this either so she didn't say what her name or what I should call her so hmm how about we call her Monica that was like the first thing that popped into my head I don't even think I've used that name in like forever or have I ever you know I have done so many book talks that I can't tell you if I've ever used the name Monica or how long I know I haven't used it in a minute but we're going to use the name Monica. So basically, so basically Monica has issues with her soon to be husband and fiance. We're going to call him. Let's call him Sam. Monica and Sam. Monica's mother-in-law, soon to be mother-in-law, seem like she real judgmental. We got people over here talking about you will look better if you were smaller. You look prettier. Excuse me. You look prettier if you lost some weight. You look pretty for a big girl. Like, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck that's supposed to mean, too. Okay? Like, so what? Uh, big girls aren't pretty? What, what the fuck is a big girl, anyway? Like, who even says anything like that? That's kind of disrespectful. That seems like fighting words to me. Like, oh, you, you, you're pretty for a big girl I don't you know what if that was me I don't know how I would react to that like if someone was to say to me you would look prettier if you lost a little bit weight that right there is like slapping terms like slapping terms like could you imagine someone saying I mean you would look pretty if you lost a little weight yeah well, you would look better, too, if I, you didn't have these two black eyes. That would be, like, maybe my first comeback. You know what I'm saying? Or, like, maybe not. I, I probably would just get real belligerent, like, out of nowhere and just start cursing you. You know, because some things you just cannot hold your temper down for. And for hearing someone to tell you, uh, you would look prettier if you lost a little weight. And, oh, you're pretty for a big girl. Man, like I said, that's slapping terms. That's when you slap the shit out of somebody. Because they... I mean, why not? That's when you're supposed to get popped in the fucking mouth. Remember when you was a kid, your mother would pop you in your mouth when you said shit that you had no business saying? That's the that's like on that same same boat. You can get popped in the mouth as an adult. I think like me personally, I feel like even adults should get popped in the fucking mouth. Like on some real shit. Like as an adult, you should get popped in the mouth for saying dumb shit. For real, straight up. Like that's facts because I get annoyed when people say dumb shit to me or rude or disrespectful shit. So why would I, why should I have to come out of my character and say something rude and disrespectful back to you? Why can't I just pop you in your fucking mouth so you can shut the fuck up and then you know for the next time not to say no rude or disrespectful or dumb shit to me or anybody else. That should help you for your future. This can going to help you for your future. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing you a favor as well as I'm doing public the, a favor at stopping you in your tracks. So if my mother-in-law was to say to me, yeah, you would look prettier if you had lost some weight or you pretty for a big girl, man, I probably would tell her about herself or just, you know what I'm saying? I might. But being the person I am, I try to be respectable to someone else's parent, especially if I'm messing with you because if you disrespect my mother, it's going to be a motherfucking problem. So I would treat your mother the same way that I would hope you would treat mine with respect. So if my mother-in-law was to say something to me like that, depending on our relationship and how often you have been disrespectful to me, it all depends. I might say something like, and what makes you think that I would look better if I was, was smaller? Or, and what makes you think that I am a big girl? Why would you say I'm a big girl? I would question you. 
You know what I'm saying? But I would also let my fiance know, like, um, you need to talk to your mama. And then sometimes that shit don't even work. When it comes to the mother, you, you, you got to try to handle them a little bit different because, you know, you have a mother too. You want them to be respectful. But then there are some situations where it's like, you know what, bitch? You know you being disrespectful. You know you being disrespectful. You know you trying to be disrespectful and mean to hurt my feelings. And that's something like, so what you his mother? Bitch, I'm somebody mother too, which is true. Monica is somebody mother. She have a 15-year-old daughter. So she's somebody mother too. And what make you think she want to hear that shit? Okay? So some, it it's all depends on the situation. But the sister, the, your sister-in-law, girl, let me tell you something. That bitch can get it. Like, she can definitely get it. And I would tell her to mind her motherfucking business and shut the fuck up, okay? Because who are you to be in my business with your brother? You may be lead to learn to mind yours, okay? Go get a life, okay? Why don't you go get some friends while you at it? Shit like that. I- I'd let her have it. But then there's a side of me that's like, you know what? Why do I need to drag myself down in the mud because you being disrespectful? Here's the one thing, though. I wouldn't allow them to get to me because that might just be what they're trying to do to get to you. I know people like that. Some of them are all bark and no bite. You know what I'm saying? What sucks, though, is this. When you have in-laws and you try to get along with them only because you're with their family member. So you try to make a family out of it and get along. But sometimes that shit don't happen in the real world. In the real world, it don't always work out like that. And it feels like you just caught in between. Like, if I say this, am I going to be wrong? Am I going to be disrespectful to my spouse by saying this to his family members? Or if I don't say this, are they going to keep disrespecting me? It's so it's, it starts to feel like you like like caught up, like you like trapped. And I know I don't know about you, Monica, but I hate feeling like I'm trapped, or I hate feeling like you got your 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 your, your the knife in my back. Like I just don't like feeling like you got the upper hand on me. And I try to be respectable to every and anybody I can, but. If you are disrespectful to me, I'm definitely going to let you know that you're being disrespectful to me. Now, if you have to tell me, if I have to tell you more than one time for the same incident that you're being disrespectful, then probably like the second or third time, bitch, I'm going to fly off at the handle with you. You know what I'm saying? Mother-in-law or not, I'm not going to have to feel like I have to continuously tell you that you're being disrespectful to me. And if this older woman is constantly telling you to lose weight, then I don't want to be like, the pot stirring the like the I don't want to be the one stirring the pot but it's starting to feel like maybe she's doing this to you on purpose is there a reason why she's trying to tell you to lose weight like okay so Monica is 5'7 she said 5'7 and she weighs 250 pounds she's she don't really weigh much she's not even big okay she's I don't know what y'all consider consider big but like don't call people that that's that's I know I'll call you a, I will call you a fat bitch in a minute I will I will but that's only if I don't like you and you've done something to me I don't go around calling people big I don't go around calling people fat unless I don't like you and you've done something to me because I'm fat shit I say about my own damn self I'm fat I weigh 222 fucking pounds and I am five well on my license it says five five okay but if I go to Home Depot up against the wall, it says 5'3". And then when I go to doctors, it says 5'4". I don't know what the fuck I am. But, I mean, like, listen. She's two. What did she say? 220, 250. And she's 5'7". That's like a thick girl. Monica did say that everybody in his family is small women, like size 2 and size 4. Bitch, that's not small. That's invisible, okay? And I'm not. there's nothing wrong with being thin. I ain't got nothing against you thin girls, okay? Except for... Y'all are smaller, all right? <laughs> no, serious. I don't have nothing against them. But what makes Sam's mother feel like Monica wants to be in that size zone with them? Like, what makes you think that we want, I want to be just as small as you? That's what you should say to his mother. What you should say to his mother is this. And what makes you think that I want to be small like you? And give her that look at the end. I love giving people that look at the end when I'm being smart and sarcastic and stern to them. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. It doesn't matter who the fuck you are. It doesn't matter where the fuck I'm at. It could be in person. It could be on the computer. I love to give you that look. You know what I'm saying? And who do you think you are? That's that's the look I give you when I'm challenging you to say something smart the fuck back. 
that's how I do it, you know? That's how you do it. You change your eye movement. I'm challenging you. I'm not telling you I'm challenging you. I'm giving you the look like. I'm challenging you. Say something. Say something. Say some shit, okay? So that's what you got to do, Linda. Let her know. Linda, I'm pretty good at the size that I'm at. You know? Thick, big, and all. I'm pretty good. And I'm pretty, too. Yes, I am pretty for big girl. Okay? Can't say much about you. But what made you feel like I want to be your size? That's what I would definitely say to her and his sister, okay? And not to mention, let him know, I've had had enough of your mother and her weight loss remarks or her weight loss suggestions, okay? If, he, if you've said something to Sam about it and he has not taken care of it for you, Monica, then it is your, your right to stand up for yourself. Like, I, I try to be so respectable to anyone, okay? Especially to someone else's mother I don't want anyone to be disrespectful to my mother so I try to be very respectable to anyone else's mother but you got to remember I'm a woman too and I have feelings too and it, don't say things to me that I that you wouldn't want to be said to you and that's the number one key so you might just alleviate it all for future remarks about anything Linda you shouldn't say things that you to, to other people that you wouldn't want said to you. That's all you have to do. You shouldn't say things to other people that you would not want to be said to you. What makes you think that what you say to me is respectable? I, I would say those things to her. So that maybe that'll allow her to think for the future. Maybe that'll allow her to think before she speaks. Because you did say that she just blurts things out. She don't think about them. So that's what I would say to her. Maybe, Linda, you should think before you speak. That's even a, that's even better that good and and then she might feel like you've been disrespectful by saying that but the shit that you saying to me is disrespectful so when she tries to challenge your disrespect let her know telling me that i would be prettier if i lost some weight i'm pretty for a big girl wouldn't i want to look even better walking down the aisle at a smaller size that's not disrespectful girl that's a whole lot of disrespect right there and i wish a motherfucker would say something to me about losing some weight let me tell you something bitches you gotta love yourself for who the fuck you are because if you don't nobody else will i don't like me for who the fuck i am straight up i don't understand why people always feel like they have to have to open their mouth and say dumb fuck shit out of it like do you ever get tired of saying dumb fuck shit to people this is what i'm talking about people let's stop with the dumb shit let's stop being disrespectful let's stop dancing saying dumb shit let's stop doing dumb shit let's 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 just not okay let's just not saying and doing things that are ridiculous let's not do this no more okay especially when you grow when you're an adult you should be doing adult shit i know some of us get out a little bit out of control and out of hand sometimes and we we get we, we step outside of the adult lane but out of 100 percent, try to stay up in that shit at least like 85 okay and on that note monica let linda ask no she shouldn't be saying disrespectful shit to you, okay? You don't have to disrespect her to let her get an understanding. You don't have to lower yourself because once you do that, they will talk shit about you and then they'll bring it to Sam and be like, see, that's why I said don't marry her, shit like that. Don't let them pull your card, sweetheart. Don't let them get you out of your comfort zone or your character. But let Linda and his fucking nosy ass sister know what you're saying is disrespectful and don't say things to people that you don't want said to you. Peace.